Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, a game that has been out for over six years. The game features a better combat system from the previous game, as well as a bigger open world for your character to navigate around. Same cast of characters, same parallel quests, and of course, same story. In today's video, I'll be explaining in my opinion why Xenoverse 3 is possibly a failure. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the video. about 18 DLCs that are currently in Xenoverse right now. Each of those DLCs will allow you to unlock specific characters and some will allow you to play in certain story modes. Now, the amount of DLCs that are in the game and all the characters that play up to the superhero arc, there won't be enough content for Xenoverse 3. There's two things that Bandai will do. Either one, implement all the DLC characters in the game but in Xenoverse 3, and you'll be able to unlock them by playing further in the story. Or they might just make you buy it again, which sucks. I really don't have too many things to say about the DLC section, other than it won't be enough content for it. Future characters that could be in there would probably most likely be Ultra Ego, Vegeta, Black Frieza, Gas, Granola, and some others. But Second Form Cell hasn't been released yet, but he's, his model is in the game. But that's it for the DLC section. Xenoverse 1 and 2 story modes are very similar. Play as your character through the sagas of Dragon Ball Z and some Super. But if you want to play the full story of Super, you gotta buy the DLCs. However, since Bandai has a repetitive addition with the both Xenoverse games of its gameplay, story, and all that other stuff, we need to do a little something different. I came up with a story concept, and most likely along with some other people that thought of this. Firstly, having both a time patroller route and a time breaker route for your character will be awesome. Like the time patrollers, you know, they take place in Kanton City or somewhere else different. While the time breakers, they take place in some, the demon realm or whatnot, you know, and they each have their own storyline. Or you can decide the fate of the story yourself. Like having morality, for example, in Spider-Man Web of Shadows, you can be both the regular symbiote or the regular suit. Now, if you choose to be one of those sides for a while, then it will decide the fate of the story and have both a good ending and a bad ending. Another example is GTA 4. In some missions, the game will allow you to either kill the person or let the person live. I'm not really sure how it works because I haven't played that game in a minute, but I do know that those certain choices that you make will affect the ending of the story, which will give you a good ending or a bad ending. Other than all of that stuff, instead of us having to replay the Dragon Ball Z story over and over and over again, why not have a different approach to it? Like, we could possibly be going up against the Time Breakers in a different dimension for the final boss fight, for example. Or we could play some missions in Super, or potentially having some content from Super Dragon Ball Heroes because that is connected to Xenoverse, possibly, which is a great idea that Bandai can use and also introducing many new characters like Xeno Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, let's see who else, um, crazy old fusions, overpowered villains like Goku Black or Golden Metal Cooler, you get the point right. And since Fu is already in Xenoverse 2 for the DLCs, they could potentially, that like he's potentially a good villain for the third one, since Fu is involved with a lot of the stuff in Dragon Ball Heroes. Now for story mode DLC missions, I am not exactly sure because bon Bandai, whatever their name is, has already used up all the Dragon Ball Super content for it. Unless we could get a Tournament of Power DLC, but I would prefer that being in the main story of Xenoverse 3. However, we could get some additional content with Dragon Ball Heroes, like possibly a Super Saiyan God Trunk special, or maybe that's probably going to be in the game. I don't even know anymore. We can get a Moral Arc uh, DLC, Granola Arc DLC, and we can possibly get a Black Freeze, a final boss fight whenever the manga is finished with that arc. And uh, yeah, anyways, that's enough with the story mode uh, section. Now we're gonna move on to the next one. 
Xenoverse games are not crossplay. Like Bandai, just simply make a crossplay so that way I can fight some Xbox players, because I know they're good. And now that the next gen consoles are out now, an increase of performance, graphics, and frames will make the game so much better to play. And please don't be having Xenoverse 3 only available for the PS5 and the Xbox series. At least have it for the PS4 and the Xbox One. And as for the redesigns for Xenoverse 3, they definitely need to do that. Now, I'm not saying that the designs are bad or anything, but come on now. The game has been out, well, the series itself has been out for a while. And even with Dragon Ball Breakers that came out a while ago, has the same designs as Xenoverse. That's it for this section. Now time to move on to the last one. Xenoverse 1 and 2 literally have the exact same customization and races for your characters. But ever since Xenoverse 2 dropped, all the races have gotten their own exclusive transformations, which is great because it allows diversity for the game instead of them just meet right in the Saiyan race and allowing them to have every single transformation in the game. We need something greater, something innovative. And I'm talking about more hairstyles, Saiyan tail animations, and of course, fighting styles. Now with the hairstyles, just add more, you know, make it more customized or whatnot. Add tents, you know, that's pretty cool. And also when you go Super Saiyan, instead of them just having the same hairstyle that they originally had when they were in the base form, just make it more spiked up and, you know, like actually Super Saiyan. For the Saiyan tail animation, well, at least add an option that you want the Saiyan tail on you or not and make it animated and it will change color when you go Super Saiyan or God or even blue. That would be nice. Styles like sword style, staff style, bow and arrow style, daggers, guns, spirit guns. All those other fighting styles will allow the game to be more diverse and funner too. To summarize it, Xenoverse 3 will be a failure if they don't implement these mechanics and features in the game. Like, we need something new, and the previous two Xenoverse games have just all been the same. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.